Hey, what's up guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the incoming call screen to a chat head bubble. Now we're going to be doing this by installing the app called Call Popout. It's a free app that can be downloaded directly from your Play Store app, so go ahead and download that, and then after it's done downloading, open it up. Now this does not require any type of root permission or anything, it'll work right out of the box. We have three different modes that it could be activated into. You could have it off only available with specific apps. So you go ahead and tap app list from the top and then select whichever apps you want it to be activated in. If, it's, if you have an app open that is not checked on that list, it will still have the regular incoming call screen. And then you could also set it to include all apps. Now there are only a few options that come with call pop out. The first is to exclude it from the home screen. So you will get the same incoming call screen when you're at your home screen with all your icons. Silent on touch means that whenever the chat head pops up, you could just tap it and then it'll silence your ringtone so you don't have to worry about muting your phone. And the last one is to keep the pop out on pickup. So that means when you actually accept the call, the chat head will still stay on the screen and it won't switch to your default dialer. You can also change the position of it. I just like to keep it at the bottom of my screen because that's usually where my thumb is at, especially if I'm using my phone. And you can also change the head size. Medium is pretty, a pretty decent size, especially for the size of the HTC One screen. You could also, again, change the border of it as well. All right, so now that you have call pop out already all set up, you go ahead and try it out. So I'll just go ahead and call myself. And at the bottom of the screen, you go ahead and see that I have the chat head already up. If you tap it, it'll mute it. Then you also have the option to mute it, to decline the call, and to answer it. So go ahead and tap to the right, and it'll answer it, and go ahead and see that the phone already picked up, and that it has a timer on it, and it doesn't go automatically to the other default dialer screen because I have that option enabled. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide link in the description below. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.